So, it seems that a Puritan has gone onto Twitter and had a complete meltdown and threatened Ethan Van Skyver. Oh, it's... You know, these Puritans are insane. And this case really tells you how crazy they are. Hey, what is going on, everybody? How are you all doing today? I hope you all are having a wonderful and fantastic day today. And if not, hopefully you all will have a better tomorrow. So, Ethan Van Skyver has been threatened by a comic book shop owner by the name of Mike Wellman. Now, in the past, Ethan Van Skyver has been threatened multiple times because of CG, right? In the comic book industry, you know, loving to attack anyone they disagree with. You know, it's not anything out of the ordinary for the comic book industry. Sad to say, but that is true. And Ethan has gotten a very terrible threat this time. Atomic Basement Comic Shop owner Mike Wellman threatens to... Um, and Ethan Van Skyver. This article is by Bound to Good Comics. Atomic Basement comic shop owner Mike Wellman took to Facebook to threaten to beat um, Ethan Van Skyver and end him. Wellman's comments came in response to a post from Van Skyver responding to famed G.I. Joe writer Larry Hama describing CG. With the comic book industry in collapse, you know, of course, CG has been promoting indie creators. They've been doing things that the industry has obviously not been doing. You know, they're trying to make good, entertaining comics for people. You know, they make good stuff. While the comic book industry, you know, it's just deteriorated, it's collapsed, and it's just a mess where they try to push their politics in everyone's face. They attack people who disagree with them. You know, tons of things that they should not be doing, but they're doing anyways. And of course, Ethan Manskyver, he's been someone who's been attacked, him and Richard C. Meyer. They have heavily attacked and threatened them, as well as other Comicsgate members. It's really disgusting how they've been treating people like this. I mean, it's it's awful. But this is what Larry Hama had to say, and then we're going to go over what Ethan Manskyver said in response, and then we're going to go into Mike Wellman's responses. Larry Hama said, It's a group of comics pros who are reviving waning careers by pandering to misogynist Istin phobes. You know, here's the instant phobes, as always, right? You know, they, they always bring that up. They always say that stuff. They have a hit list of creators they consider libtard SJWs. Pretty much everybody I admire in the business is on that list. So I am rather proud of my inclusion. So what they need to know is there's not a list. But they try to make up this whole, there's a list of people. Kind of ironic when you think about it, considering that, you know, you look at the mainstream comic book industry, you know, Marvel, DC, they had blacklist. You know, they had lists of people that they were against because of their politics. You know, they even tried to make sure who voted for who. And then, of course, they would try to get rid of them. You know, they tried to ruin people's careers. That includes Ethan Van Skyver, by the way. They tried to ruin his career while he was in the industry. It's a shame. So, Ethan, here is his response. I've got bad news for you, Larry Hama. If there were a list, which there isn't, you wouldn't be on it. We love you. Richard C. Meyer especially admires you and cites your comics as the reason he chose to enlist and serve in his country. Your G.I. Joe comics and their lessons in loyalty inspired us all to stand up for each other as your friends tried to exert pressure on us to betray what we knew was right. We stood behind Richard C. Meyer in his lawsuit against Mark Wade because of your G.I. Joe comics, and we have stood together in solidarity and not giving Kickstarter our business because of their persecution of conservatives and political discrimination. You taught us what it means to be real American heroes. You inspire CG. Now, this is a very thoughtful thing to say, and I have to give credit to Ethan Van Skyver here. This is a very nice thing to say, and, you know, he's a good person. He really is, and he doesn't give himself enough credit in terms of his intellect because I think he's a smart person. You know, he really is. And then, of course, you have people like Mike Wellman, and he comes in here. In response to this post, Wellman threatened Ethan Van Skyver with physical violence. He wrote, I can't wait to see you at a show, Ethan, and beat the living F out of you. He would then double down, I am literally going to beat your butt. How dare you insult legends like Larry Hama as well as our industry itself. Okay, so let me ask you, where was the insult in any of that? There was no insult in what Ethan said. But this is how these people work. This is how SJWs work. This is what they do. This is the insanity of these people. And this is how bad it gets. You know, 
they tried so hard to ruin their lives. You know, Ethan Van Skyver, Richard C. Meyer, you know, many other creators as well. They have tried to ruin their lives. F you, I am a libtard with fists. You're going to feel them the next time we are at a convention together. I am going to beat the living F out of you in front of everybody. He goes on to say, you're such a little cowardly um, person. Ethan Van Skyver, let's fight. Let me feed you a fist sandwich, you little coward. I mean, you know, there's no reason for this. And Ethan Van Skyver then responded with, I might make a video about this dude considering it. And I mean, you know, that's the thing. This is how bad this gets. It's like how Dan Frega recently announced that he is CG, and they went after him just, you know, immediately. I mean, this is what they do. So, Van Skyver also posted on Twitter a Facebook DM from Wellman threatening to end him. The DM reads, give me your home address and give the police an actual reason to be concerned because I will come to your house and end you. That is a fact. This is utterly ridiculous. I mean, like, you want to talk about crazy. This is insanity. Ethan Van Skyver had a stream earlier today, and he talked about it for about three hours. He had a long stream on it, and it, it's just it's just nuts. I'll leave a link to that stream in the description so you can check it out for yourself and see what Ethan had to say. The conversation begins with Wellman threatening to beat his butt. Wellman states, I'm coming to beat your butt, son. Why not make it a feature at an upcoming comic convention? Could be fun. I'm going to beat your butt either way. But let's let people have an opportunity to enjoy me beating your butt in public, right? And then, you know, Ethan responds with, bro, there aren't going to be any more conventions. You're going to have to wake up. Which, you know, with the issue that I can't talk about that's going on right now, yeah, not for a while if there's going to be any. I mean, that's that's true. And, I mean, you know, you look at the statement. It's insane. Ethan had stated that he reported this to the federal authorities. Uh, I don't know if it was uh, locally addressed, but this is something very serious. I mean, this is something that, you know, Ethan definitely needs to uh, see all the way through here because this is this is extremely serious. Woman replies, I'll just come find you at your home then. What's your address? Put your big boy pants on and tell me where you live. Van Skyver asks, Mike, do you have a family? Wellman then states, tell me where you live so I can drive right up to your house and home deliver the butt whipping you deserve. Van Skyver says, take care of your family during this hard time. Wellman continues, it doesn't matter if I have a family or not. Did you vote for Trump? You were deflecting. And then Van Skyver says, it does. It does matter. Your family needs you. And see, here's the thing why does voting for Trump matter? You see, that's that's the big thing. These people have, you know, Trump derangement syndrome because, you know, whether you like him or not, I'm not going to say you have to like him. I'm not going to say you don't. I'm not going to encourage you to like him or not. But thing is, these statements right here, who cares about who voted for what? Seriously, why, why does that matter? What What importance is that? You see, this is the problem because to them, politics means everything and, and I, i'm serious like that, that's not a joke <laughs> you know that's not a joke at all you know if you voted for the orange man oh well you're an ist you're a phobe you're all these things that they try to come up with like i'm serious this is what's been going on since 2016 you know you want to talk about insanity it, it, these people went nuts the the industry went crazy after all that happened it, it was it, it's insane and this has nothing to do with the conversation at hand but, of course, the guy, for some reason, thinks that he has to bring up, you know, who Ethan Van Skyver voted for, which has no relevance to the topic at all whatsoever. So Mike responds with, why are you suddenly so compassionate? It's a little too late, don't you think? Ethan responds with, I'm compassionate because I can tell you're ill and I love retailers. Mike responds with, do you have any regrets at all for being a Trump voter? Ethan responds with, CG doesn't talk politics. We talk about selling comics. Politics kills sales. And that couldn't be more true. Mike responds with, CG means something. I'm not into it. But is CG on the side of Trump? I can't align with that. And Ethan responds with, anyone can be CG. We don't ask your political affiliation. See, that's the thing. And it's about customers. That's the thing. That's what should be important. It shouldn't be about who's 
political view is what? It should be about making good entertainment and then selling it and the customer enjoying the product. That's what it should always be about. That is why the industry had collapsed. That's why it's dying because all they ever worry about, if you go to a lot of the comic artists who work at Marvel and DC, what are they talking about? They're literally talking about politics and how they don't like the orange man. It's all these things that they're talking about, not comics at all. And you can clearly tell they don't care about it. Ethan goes on to say, I'm going to leave it there, brother. There isn't going to be a fight. Take care of yourself and your family and get better. Mike responds with, answer me this one question. Ethan says, what's your question? Are you a supporter of Donald Trump? Ethan then responds with, the president isn't the source of any of your problems. And my political opinions are none of your business. And then Mike responds with, they are actually. Your answer answered itself. Goodbye. You see, Ethan was just being a good person. He was trying to be nice. And then, of course, Mike over here, Mike Wellman, he's not being reasonable. And this is how these people are. You know, and the other thing is, even if you don't vote for these people, like, say you didn't vote for the Orange Man, right? They still will say, you voted for the Orange Man. And, you know, this is something that Ethan has gone through for years. You know, this is what's happened. And, I mean, it's a tragedy. And to see somebody be this crazy, you know, this crazy over something like this, it's ridiculous. This isn't the first time Vance Skyver has received threats against him. Back in November 2017, he received multiple threats in advance of a fan signing at Gotham City Pizza in Orlando, Florida. And we're going to get into this stuff, but he was actually threatened back then as well. It, it, you know, it's a shame because... You know, that's all they care about. That's all the people in the industry care about. You know, at Marvel and DC, they care about what your political affiliation is. And if it's not what they agree with, then they're going to try to ruin you. It's disgusting. But this has been going on since the 2016 election. Not even kidding. Not even kidding. Ethan said back in November 6, 2017, I am not looking for trouble. I want to draw for people who enjoy my work. I don't know why this seems appropriate to political enemies. And see, that's the thing. Whenever he announced being CG, they tried to dogpile him. They even told him to stop being friends with Richard C. Meyer. I mean, it's it's terrible stuff. I mean, you know, the threats got really horrible. I mean, look at this. World War II villain piece of crap. Be seeing you at pizza, mother ever. And then, of course, you have a couple of more here where they had to say, you're a nasty um, person. DC should have fired you years ago. Hope your kids get cancer. Hope you and your wife have an accident at the shooting reins, you World War II villain prick. You know, and then just talking about how they want, you know, Ethan to basically be ended. It's terrible. I mean, you know, they said the worst things to this man when all he's wanted to do was nothing more than make comics for people to enjoy. And that's the thing. You know, it's gotten to the point to where these SJWs, you know, this is all that matters to them. They'll attack you over it, you know, and it's disgusting. I mean, people like Ethan, Richard C. Meyer, you know, and many others of Comicsgate, they have been attacked over this stuff. And it's just disgusting to see this. You know, they call them istinphobes when that's not what they are at all. And, you know, when it comes down to it, all Ethan and the people at CG, all they want to do is make entertaining comics for people. That's all they want to do. You know, they want to make good stuff for the customer. I mean, what's wrong with that? What's wrong with making good quality entertainment? There's nothing wrong with that. But, you know, that's the thing. You look at Marvel and DC. What have they done for years? You know, they have been losing customers because they've been attacking the fans. They have been treating them like garbage. They've been pushing their political agendas. You know, they've been ruining what was comics. You know, and people are tired of it. That's why people are going to manga and anime. Because, you know, they get good stories and things of that sort. And, you know, it's just a shame to see these things happen to innocent people. And, you know, speaking of Ethan Van Skyver, so, you know, he has his Cyberfrog 2 wreck planet. Be sure to go to Indiegogo and get yourself a copy if you are interested. Uh, he has 3,827 backers, and it has crowdfunded up to $449,545 as of the recording of this video. You have 11 days left to get yourself a copy, so be sure to get yourself a copy while you still can. And we'll be here to support you, Ethan.
But anyways, let me know what you think about this entire situation down below. Subscribe to the channel if you were new here, and make sure you were still subscribed because YouTube is unsubscribing people from all their favorite channels. So make sure you are still subscribed to all your favorite channels. Hit the video with a like, and also be sure to share it on social media. Spread the word and get it out there. It's greatly appreciated, and it really helps out the channel a lot. Also, be sure to follow me on Discord. We have a wonderful community there. Not only that, but it will keep you up to date on when the newest videos will be released, as well as any other upcoming events in the near future. So be sure to follow me on Discord. The link is in the description down below. But anyways, I hope you all have yourselves a wonderful and fantastic day today. And remember, if today was not a good day, tomorrow could always be better. Take care of yourselves and everyone around you, and have yourselves a good one out there, everybody.